The UMETSAT Polar System is uh, uh, composed of uh, several satellites, uh, METOP satellites, uh, which embark a suite of instruments in order to do observations uh, of, the, uh, of the Earth. Um, it uh, uh, includes instruments coming from the uh, cooperation with the European Space Agency in Europe and the European industry, but as well as national space agencies like NES for the infrared sounding. In addition, we have also some payloads coming from the United States, which are provided through cooperation with our partner NOAA. Um, the system itself is also composed of an infrastructure, which we have developed in the years from 2000 to 2006, date at which the first satellite, the METOP satellite, was launched in October and delivered its first operational data in May 2007. Uh, this is very important because the, uh, this uh, satellite is very uh, successful and delivers data and we have now exceeded the design lifetime of the spacecraft, which means that we have to start uh, launching a second satellite to ensure operational continuity for our users. Just as a note, we have also a third satellite, which for the same reason of operational continuity, we plan to launch in the uh, time frame of 2017-2018. Data are provided by METOP to the users. Global data are provided through a link which goes to a North Pole station in the Spitsbergen Island in Svalbard. These data are provided there, processed in UMETSAT and made available to the users within 115 minutes from the sensing on board. Clearly, the users are interested in having shorter timeliness and that's the reason why we enter the cooperation with the uh, uh, United States to have a service from a South Pole station in, the Mac, in McMurdo. And this system is pre-operational right now, but ensure uh, roughly a 70 minutes uh, timeliness uh, to the users. And this is really appreciated. Now, speaking about METOP B, which is the next satellite we're going to launch, its date is, uh, launch date is scheduled for uh, uh, May 2012. And uh, we are uh, starting the preparation for the, uh, for the launch campaign. The team will depart at the end of February and will stay there in Baikonur uh, uh, for a period of roughly three months. Uh, in Baikonur, we will use the services of a Russian uh, rocket, which is a Soyuz 21A and operated by the company Starsem.